kind of side with us on this I one. I think I have to. We're talking about a tag team in the Wild Flyers, a regular tag team. Former tag team champions in Remy LeVay and Q5. And Bro Heeman, who look, look, Bro Heeman's gonna fit in with any tag team or any team you want. And look, Bro Heeman is, for lack of a better term, I feel like the Adam Dunn of this team. Yeah. You know, look, just gonna swing big and hit dingers. Referee George Ross trying to get- This is gonna be tough under control and he said i think i read his lips he said i need one legal person on each side so we can start this look this is going to be a tough mess for george ross to keep control of the terrible dog is in here say that again terrible dog how like about a, like a double dog dare sort of yes uh, okay yes now, when I met this competitor early on this evening, they told me they were a superhero. I don't know that there's anything hero-like about batting for Team Lawless. Well, Tatiana. Ooh. Kick to the gut from the Bitanical badass of Dottie Block. I would say Tatiana showing off her, her own Wonder Woman-style moves on yeah. the superhero. Where are we going? Oh! Oh! Gut wrench! One! Oh, just a one count from the dog. I, I would get out of there immediately. The rough and tumble Alex Melee from the AIW Academy, a graduate. Where are we going? Oh, the mind eraser. Here we go. Now, growing up in the business with Remy LeVay, I'm sure you've seen him all over the place. I have. I've been around with Remy for a long time. We've been friends. We've been uh, on, on opposite sides. And he is a great singles wrestler. That's what people know him. But I grew up with Remy as a tag. Ooh. As I said, been tag team champion with Keith Hot. One, uh, one half of the original, the Knight Riders, broke in as a tag team wrestler. Knows his tag wrestling. Great veteran to have. In comes the NB Ryan. And of course, they're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zeke. They've been at each other's throats for months here. Both these competitors representing the LGBTQ plus community. But right now, the Wildflowers, Nick Swild with a tummy to tummy and a cover. Two, Whoa. oh, just a two count. We're talking about Pittsburgh icons, shades of Shane Douglas. Ooh. And now, York Castro not even in gear and just got caught by Pro Heyman. Walk, strike out, home run. That's what Bro Hamid's looking for. Now, Dior Castro, I don't think, was set to compete, but attacked MV Young earlier in the evening. Devilly showed something to David Lawless to put it into a, oh, a game six, and Dior Castro's regretting that. I think Lawless and Dior had something on the side to attack MV. He probably said, hey, if you attack MV, I'm going to put you in this match, kid, and here we are. Look, you want, you want the, the big win. You got it. But I think DR Castro feels like maybe he should have called in sick with the flu. Wind it up and wind it up and wind it up and wind it up and wind it up in a slant, in, a, in an elbow to that forehead, it looked like. And oh! Those palm strikes from Keith Hot. The Bearcat munching down, and here comes Sidney Von England. We saw earlier this evening, and he's out here to play again. Oh, Dior. Yeah, Sidney Von England that. that general mindset that, that Sydney brings. So smart, is almost like a coach slash player. And now Zeke Bursar oh, choking, getting, getting their shots in. Oh, where's Sydney going? Oh, over the top rope looks like. And the cover, two. And again, if you are just joining us, if Team Lawless, if Team Dangerous Knights crew is victorious here, we're going home. They are up 3-2 in this World Series, Marcus, and it's really coming down to it. Yeah, Keith Hot in the wrong part of this oh. eight-person tag as the Dangerous Knights crew's uh, hand-picked assassins have just gone to work on the Bearcat. In unfamiliar territory, keeping Keith Hot in the bad guy's corner. Now Zeke Mercer, who has, over the months here at 880, developed this aggression and hard hit just right in. And now things are breaking down. Well, Marcus, you knew this was going to happen after a while. George Ross is going to try and keep everything situated. Look at, There's just too many people. It's chaos. It is utter chaos, Marcus. 
We knew this was gonna happen. When the World Series got here, we didn't know who was gonna be in the ring, who was fighting for who, but right now we've chosen the sides. Ours is Team 880, but Team Lawless with a two count there on Keith Hot. And that, they're just gonna try and work over Keith Hot in that corner. Castro, as I said, Oh, big shot. Wanted to come in and be a hero. Take out MV Young, win this game six. Go on as, oh. as a, you know, maybe trying to be Lawless's right hand person. And as you said, Marcus, Michael Jordan, not a, not a fan of game sevens, and no. ne neither is the troublemaker Dior Castro, with the help of Sidney Von England, gets the Bearcat up. Oh, oh. just holding Keith Hart. A cover. One, two. Oh. Remy LeBay getting in there very smartly. When you got to think about Marcus, Keith Hot has been out here before. They probably said, let's focus on Keith Hot. They might not be the hottest competitor. Now, Keith has, as you said, worked earlier. Mike yes. Took a beating earlier as well. So Keith isn't 100% isn't fresh as Sidney Von England isn't either. But I think this is a, a great strategy from the Dangerous Knights Crew Alliance. Shout out Claudio Cascagnoli here. Find it. Did you pick him up, Sydney? Keith Hutt. Uh, Keith Hutt has a lot of mass. Yeah. Uh-oh. And this again, is Sydney, this a Sydney, did you not learn? Uh-oh, the Appalachian cryptid. Gonna hike their shorts up. How about a oh. little ass? It is down to the wire, and Keith Hot's butt may have just saved 880 Wrestling. We shall see here in game six again, Team 880 with two, DNC leading this with three, and they only need one more, but here comes Remy LeVay. Unloading on the competition is the Mind Eraser. So clean, so smooth, Marcus. Looks like they've done it a time or oh, two. Oh, yeah, 100%. This is what veteran leadership brings. Ooh. And now Remy LeVay. Bounce against the ropes. Well, face was buster. Face buster. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah. A little Chris Jericho style face buster. Oh. Sit out flatliner. Shades of Canyon. One, two. Dog doesn't seem so terrible now. Yeah, did someone dare Terrible Dog to be in this match? Is that what this is? Uh, seems like it. Trying to tag Dior, trying to ta tag Alex Melee. Oh, oh, it's a curry. I don't think Remy LeVay saw that coming at all. Now look out, Nick's Wild coming in. Trying to get to the Terrible Dog. Was there a tag made? I don't think that Nick I saw didn't the see. tag. Oh. Oh. Nick's didn't know what to do. That was an innovative barrel roll that just came through there. What does Alex Melee have in mind against the turnbuckle? Running around, up, oh, flipping around, holy cow. This guy plays a lot of video games and I guess he professional wrestles as well, Alex Melee. Cover. One. No, oh, no, that, not. Didn't a, think so. No, not on a one foot cover like that. Melee now met the tag to Zeke Mercer. And now look, hey, Nick's Wild is down and that's when Zeke Mercer wants to get in. Great point, Marcus. Of course they're gonna tag them in. Yeah. Look, Zeke has made waves here at 880. I believe, if, tell me if I'm wrong, Tony, you know you're the yes. 880 historian, but there was a, a deep tag team love between yes. Zeke Mercer and Nick's Wild. In once the upon a time. Once upon a time. And it is broken down to this, the disrespect that Zeke Moser has showed Nick's Wild over and over again from the tag. When you have two hungry competitors who all want to reach the top, you know what, Marcus? Only one can. Yeah, and, and Zeke Mercer has tried to make sure that they're the one oh. that's gone all the way to the top. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it was Zeke who got hurt, and Nick's tried to fight for their honor. And yeah, just, and against just, Sheridan, your yeah, boy. You and, probably know that. Yeah, and it's... Now to see what this has become has been, you know, n not ideal obviously for Knicks. Knicks wants to move on. And there's Zeke Mercer right again going right after their knee. Sydney Von England tag back in. Where's Sydney going? 
I don't know what. Oh, oh, bracing the leg together. Oh! Innovative knee I don't knee know breaker. that I've I've seen that knee breaker before. I think if Sydney would have got the cover right away, we'd have been out of here. But here comes a Bearcat yeah. taking too much time. Bearcat knew it. And now fighting back, and it's breaking down a little bit. George Ross has got to get in there. God bless George Ross, but the Bearcat is really showing their spunk for Team 880. I say that's that, I've never seen that knee breaker before either. That must be something that's more popular in the British Isles. Yeah. We're, we're familiar with baseball. Yes. That's cricket. Yes, that's yes, cricket. Yes. It's similar. Oh. It's similar. Hear him growl for the NB Riot, Nick's, Nick's Wild. Now it's Melee forcing Nick's Wild back in the corner, and now Terrible Dog also in there. If I was Alex Melee, I would have taken that to the unfamiliar territory corner yeah. instead of buying, that, buying some time for Nick's Wild, putting them up there. And Nick's Wild just trying to fight back with no leg. Double cross body, let's go! The true blue spirit of Nick's Wild is alive and well in 880. Come on, team, we need to tie this up. 3-3 three, three, so there could be a final. Nick's looking for that tag. If, if I can tag anyone, it's Brohemoth. Here comes the Orange, and there's Big Brohemoth! The smart man to tag! Fresh as a daisy. Taking big swings. Big as a porterhouse steak. Here comes a big headbutt from the Gigabyte Grizzly. Spear from Tatiana. Let's take control, boys. Oh, super kick. Duck oh. under. Headbutt. As the sound reverberates off the walls, here Boom. comes Big Bro. Back and forth, runaway train, never coming back. Bro, Hamath is oh. trying to hit 74 home runs tonight. Legally. Smashes him in the corner. And here comes Big Bro. Boom. Oh! Dior's up. Oh! Wow! What a combination platter for dinner. Here's a cover. Two. Oh! Zeke Mercer making the save for the Dangerous Knights crew. I thought we were heading to game seven. Yeah. But unfortunately for Team 880, Zeke Mercer was able to break up that pinfall. Everyone's getting a lick. Oh! Tatiana getting the swinging neck breaker in. And Darable Dog. Oh, oh, Zeke from behind! From behind. Just taking out Tatiana with that big strike from behind. And now, and her wild, wild. Wildflower. Nick's wild. Oh, oh, flower bomb. And oh, that knee doesn't look too good. Well, can Nick's get Tatiana up? Can. Oh, there's that flower bomb for you. But the knee definitely. Oh. Preventing wild from getting out of the way of that clothesline. Oh, slip blade. Oh, that's what that's called. Yeah. Okay. I forget too. Oh, oh, Superman punch. Superman punch gets the kid hyped. Big spear by Tatiana, who I know for sure hates the Orchestro. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh. Headbutt. Sydney Von England, you never know where Sydney's coming oh. from. Oh. And I still don't, and the move happened. Pump handle throw. Keith. Oh. You're an Augie. Yeah, from the big cryptid. Uh oh. And now, terrible dog. Oh. Well, I have the hurricane there. I don't think so, Mr. Dog. Because you got a bear behind you, kid. Oh, I would not take this dare. There's no way I would take this dare. Turning around here. Oh, big headbutt. And can we see an MMD? Holy cow, he almost hit the ceiling and the cover. Can we tie this up? Two. Game seven, Marcus, let's go. Wild, Tatiana, and Brohemoth! The 
DNC has found themselves tied up with us. Tied up with Team 880. Game six, three to three. And I'll tell you what, not many ball clubs can come back from three to one, but we've got it. One shot left, Marcus. Whoever wins this next one wins this company.